and no. <laughs> okay, so speaking about, you know, kind of rock stars and musicians, I want to introduce you guys to somebody, tender age of 58, B.B. Buell, the former model, Steven Tyler's ex-girlfriend, Liv Tyler's mom, finally opening up. And I met up with her at the Lambs Club to talk about our music and her wild 70s years in New York City, hanging out with some of the biggest rock stars in the world. It was 1972, and then 18-year-old Bibi Buell hit the ground running when she came to New York from Virginia. She had a contract with the exclusive Ford Modeling Agency, but she was much more interested in the rock and roll scene. What was that like then? Oh, New York was crazy. I mean, the crazy things we did, we just did them. I mean, we were sort of the pioneers of crazy. You're my baby. Bibi quickly became involved in a long on and off again relationship with musician Todd Rundgren, who was quickly becoming famous for hits like Hello, It's Me. Hello, it's me. But it wasn't exactly a monogamous relationship, and she dated everyone from David Bowie to Jimmy Page to Mick Jagger. I dated my variety of boyfriends in the 70s while Todd and I were living together. I mean, but he was always on the road, and so, you know, I would date. The stories from that time are legendary, like when Mick surprised her on her 21st birthday. Todd was in the studio and couldn't take me out, and Mick felt sorry for me. And he asked me one time, if you could meet three people, who would it be? And I was like, Albert Einstein, Oscar Wilde, and John Lennon. So after my birthday, he goes, come on, we're going to go somewhere. And we arrive, and at the top of the staircase, with a Polaroid camera, snapping us as we ascended the stairs with John Lennon. During one of the many breaks from Todd, she had a whirlwind affair with Aerosmith Steven Tyler. You know, I fell madly and passionately in love with him. That was chemistry to the max. I went to Europe with him and mm -hmm. did an entire tour and came back pregnant. But when she got pregnant with their daughter Liv, Bibi realized Stephen, who was battling drug addiction, was daddy material. And they all agreed that Todd would raise the baby as his own. The lifestyle that he was living at that time was really intense. You mean because he was doing a lot of drugs? He was. And I don't think that's a secret. Like many women, she gave up a lot to raise her daughter, including a big recording contract. I got offered the contract, and within three days, her paternity became public, and I sort of had to make a choice. The label said to me, we're not putting this much money into you if you're not going to tour. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't going to take a 14-year-old on the road. It was Liv who figured out that Stephen was her real father at age 11. I feel like Liv saved his life in a lot of ways. I feel it's because of Liv that he got clean, and it's because of Liv that he wanted to better himself. I'll come around to see when Liv left home in 1997, Bibi turned back to music, and she's been recording ever since. Her latest album, Hard Love, was released just this week. And at 58, you can bet that Bibi doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. I was walking down the street one day, and I started thinking, I am the mother of, and then I went, rock and roll. I am the mommy of, rock and roll. This is me saying, look, you can be my age, and you can rock. You can have success, and you can do it all. And you can catch Bibi live in concert at the Hero Ballroom on October the 12th. That was a great show. That's perfect. You got a job. We've been looking for someone to fill the empty hole.